In this video, I'm going to use SPSS to perform a dependent samples t-test, which also is sometimes called a matched pairs t-test. So here's our prompt. Let's perform a dependent samples t-test. Researchers want to test a new anti-hunger weight loss pill. They have 10 people rate their hunger both before taking the pill and after taking the pill. Does the pill do anything? Use an alpha of 0.05 to test this claim. So down here we have our data. We have the scores of 10 people before they took the pill and after they took the pill. So let's go into SPSS. Right now we are in data view, which is where we enter in data. Right now it's all blank. First we need to tell SPSS what variables we have. So I'm going to go down to variable view. And now we're in variable view. Now here we have two variables. Before they took the pill and after they took the pill. So there we go. Now we have before and after put into SPSS. For now, we can leave all this other information the same. We don't need to worry about that for this experiment. Now that we have our variables in here, we can go back to data view. Now the thing about SPSS is that every row represents a different person. So here we have 10 before scores and 10 after scores, but they came from the same person. For example, person 1 had a before of 9 and an after of 7. So we put it in there just like that. Here we have 10 and 6, 7 and 5, 5 and 4, 7 and 4, 5 and 6, uh, where am I now? There we go. 9 and 7, 6 and 5, 8 and 5, and 7 and 7. So there we go. Now we have all of our before and after scores for our 10 participants. Now we're going to go up to Analyze and then Compare Means. Here we're going to click on the Paired Samples t-test. So Dependent Samples t-test, Matched Pairs or Paired Samples. or paired samples. It's all the same kind of test. So we click on Paired Samples. So here we put in just like that. Our first pair is Variable 1 is Before and Variable 2 is After. We can go to Options if we want to specify the confidence interval. Right now we'll just leave it at 95% and we'll click OK to perform our t-test. Here it gives us our paired samples statistics, basically our means, standard deviation, standard error of the mean, and n. So the mean for our before group was 7.3 and the mean for our after group was 5.6. Remember that these were ratings of hunger, so it seems to have gone down here. But let's look at the paired samples t-test to see if there's actually any difference. Here what we're, mo what we're most concerned with is our t-score and our degrees of freedom and our significance or our p-value. So here t is equal to 3.597 with 9 degrees of freedom. This gives us a significance or p-value of 0 0.006. Now because this 0 0.006 is less than 0 0.05, we're going to reject the null hypothesis and say that there is a difference between before and after. What we're saying here is that the pill, you know, from our experiment, the pill did make a difference when it came to hunger.